for your first deal, you're not looking to scale right away. You're looking for rock star deals that pay you solid money. And then as you start getting some capital, you can and, and some experience, then you can actually bring that percentage up if you want to. But ain't nothing wrong with staying in that 65 and under range, especially for your first deal. So you can make some serious bread on that money. So you can make some serious uh, money on that deal. So I hope all that makes sense. But the number two, the most important thing for step number two is the deal. The deal, the deal, the deal. How well you negotiate is how much money you're going to make. So make sure this number is accurate, the rehab budget, and make sure the ARV is accurate. Those are the two numbers that need to be as accurate as possible. Give yourself a little bit room on the, um, on the rehab budget. And then for the ARV, make sure you're looking at comps that relate to what your, what your project is going to look like. So make sure you find the right comps. Real estate agents can help you find it, but make sure you do your own homework on that too. This is easy stuff to find, easy stuff to learn. You can find it. You can figure out how to do this stuff with a five minute YouTube video, all of this stuff, find the right contractors, look up reviews, whatever the case is. You can make a lot of money in real estate, but step one, learn how to make money. Step two, learn how to find deals. Now, if you master those two steps, we're going to move on to step three, right? So after you master those two steps, yeah, it's supposed to be magnetic. I don't know why it's dropping. So after you, after you master those two steps, we're going to move to step three, right? And step three is after you made some money, after you found a rock star deal, step three is going to be positioning yourself in order to get the money for that deal, right? So what I mean by that, right? So in order to position yourself to get the money for the deal, we need you, especially in 2023, I'm coming at you for 2023. 2023, we need you to be somewhat responsible. Now, back in the day, we didn't care what your credit score was. As long as you had a post, you was fine by us. You know what I mean? As long as you had a post and a, a, a post and a rock star deal, there was no minimum credit score. But in today's market, you know, now that we got Biden, you know, we got rates skyrocketing, we don't know what's going to happen with the economy. So in today's market, the investors, the people that are lending you the money, the funds that are lending you the money, in most scenarios, they're going to want you to have a 620 credit score. And above. And that's not that very, that's not hard to do. 620, I mean, as long as you're somewhat responsible, you're going to have more than a 620. 620 is, 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 is not that hard to pull off, right? So as long as you have a 620 credit score and above, you should be fine. Now, I'm not a credit expert. I'm not the person that's going to fix your credit, stuff like that. There's a bunch of people out there that do that. But what I would say that works for me is I pay my bills on time. So I basically pay my bills and then I keep my credit utilization low. So basically, if I have access to $300,000 worth of credit, I'm probably only about to use about like thirty to 40000 of that at any given time. You know what I mean? I keep it pretty low for the most part. And that's why I tend to have a really high credit score. But 620 ain't that hard. Even if you have high utilization, you can still be a 620 as long as you pay your bills on time and you pay people back. It's very simple, but it is needed when it comes to being able to get capital, you know, from grandiose capital. We used to didn't care about six uh, credit scores, but nowadays, even private people, before they even lend money out of their bank, they're going to want to know that you at least somewhere in the 600s before they give you some money. You know what I mean? So that's just a rule of thumb. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me, click the link in the bio. Whether you make less than 200,000, you need help getting there, or you make more and you want to jump into real estate investing, click the link in the bio, book a call with me ASAP.